Simone Biles has done it again. Just when we thought we'd seen everything, she's got people watching with a brand new routine that's unlike anything before. Remember the iconic Yurchenko double pike that left everyone gasping? Well, that move is officially retired, and now the world is buzzing about what she'll unveil next. She's teased a new challenge, something even more daring, and everyone's asking the same question. What could possibly top what she's already done? The Yurchenko double pike isn't just a gymnastics move. It's a terrifying, heart-stopping display of human capability. And it's one of the reasons Simone Biles has earned her title as the greatest gymnast of all time. If you've ever watched her nail this move, you probably held your breath the entire time. The move itself is a vault that starts with a round off onto the springboard, followed by a back handspring onto the vault table. And then, here's the mind-bending part. She launches herself into the air, completing two full backward flips in a pike position before landing. And when I say pike, I mean her body is folded in half, legs straight, and all the force of gravity pulling her back down. The room for error is so small it's practically non-existent. A single misstep in that airspace, and you're looking at broken bones, spinal damage, or worse. Simone Biles wasn't just doing a move that others feared, she was perfecting it. And that's what made her stand out. She owned this skill, so much so that it got named after her, the Biles II. No one else was even attempting it, and for good reason. It's not just difficult, it's borderline reckless for anyone who isn't a superhuman like Biles. She set a standard that no one else dared to reach. But even for Simone, the Yurchenko double pike wasn't without its dark side. The Tokyo Olympics showed us just how dangerous this move could be, even for the GOAT herself. Biles, who was usually so calm and collected, started experiencing something gymnasts call the twisties. If you've never heard of it, it sounds almost innocent, but it's anything but. The twisties are basically a gymnast's worst nightmare a mental block that causes them to lose control in the air. It's like suddenly not knowing where your body is while flipping and twisting several feet off the ground. Looks good. Very good. In Tokyo, Biles couldn't shake the twisties. She lost her sense of space mid-air, which meant she wasn't just risking a bad landing. She was risking her life. Watching her struggle with that move was hard especially when you know she's done it flawlessly so many times before. She pulled out of the competition, and the whole world saw just how brutal gymnastics can be, both physically and mentally. It wasn't just the physical toll of the Yurchenko double pike that got to her. It was the mental battle. The pressure, the stakes, the expectation to be perfect. It all came crashing down. And as much as people cheered for her decision to prioritize her health, we all knew that this might be the beginning of the end for the Yurchenko double pike. Fast forward to today, and Biles has officially said goodbye to this iconic move. She didn't just quietly retire it, she gave it the farewell it deserved, with a sense of humor that only she could pull off. On Instagram, she posted a photo of herself posing on a giant gymnastics vault surrounded by white flowers, almost like a funeral for the move. The caption was simple, but hilarious. Rest in peace, Yurchenko, double pike. It was like she was laying the move to rest, and fans couldn't get enough of it. The gymnastics community went wild with relief and support. You had people commenting things like, you have nothing to prove to anyone. Happy that you do not have to stand, terrified, on that runway ever again. Which really shows just how nerve-wracking this move had been for her even if she always made it look so effortless. Some fans took it even further, applauding her for not only nailing the move, but knowing when to stop. Vault Queen, take a bow, you deserve your flowers, one comment read, perfectly summing up the respect she's earned. When Simone Biles announced she was retiring the Yurchenko double pike, the gymnastics world didn't just take notice, they collectively exhaled a sigh of relief. The reality is, this move was so dangerous that even watching her perform it made people nervous. 
fans, fellow gymnasts, and even USA Gymnastics expressed their relief that she wouldn't be risking her health anymore. It's like everyone had been holding their breath every time she stepped up to that vault, knowing that one miscalculation could lead to serious injury. You could see this relief in the way people responded to her Instagram post. Simone, being Simone, gave the Yurchenko double pike a proper send-off by posing on top of a vault surrounded by white flowers, as if she were attending a funeral for the move. The caption read, Rest in peace, Yurchenko double pike. It was such a simple line, but the weight behind it was immense. She had conquered the most terrifying move in gymnastics, and now she was finally letting it go. It was a moment that everyone seemed to be waiting for. One fan summed up what so many people were feeling. You have nothing to prove to anyone. Happy that you do not have to stand terrified on that runway ever again. The words terrified and runway really hit home because let's face it, that vault runway had probably been the most stressful place in the world for Biles after Tokyo. No one wanted to see her push herself to the point of harm just to perform a move that no one else would even dare to try. Even Nastia Lukin, a gymnastics legend herself, chimed in with her signature humor, I'm dead, you win, Avi, showing that even within the tight-knit community of elite gymnasts, they all understood how monumental this decision was. It wasn't just about a move being retired. It was about a collective understanding that Biles had already given enough and didn't need to prove anything anymore. Everyone agreed she had already done what no one else could do. The Yurchenko double pike wasn't just difficult, it was downright dangerous. When Biles first performed it, she made headlines because no female gymnast had ever dared to try it before. And let me tell you, there's a reason for that. The Yurchenko double pike demands an almost superhuman level of skill, strength, and body control. You're talking about a move where the gymnast has to propel themselves into the air at insane speeds. Fold their body into a tight pike position, flip twice, and then stick a landing. There's no room for error if you twist wrong or if your timing is off by even a fraction of a second. You're looking at shattered bones, or worse. Biles didn't just attempt this move, she nailed it. And no one, not even the best gymnasts in the world, tried to follow in her footsteps. That's how dangerous it was. She had set the bar so high with this move that no one else could even reach it. That's what made her decision to retire it even more impactful. This wasn't just a move being retired, this was the queen of gymnastics deciding that the risk wasn't worth the reward anymore. And honestly, it was a decision that only Biles could make because she was the only one brave enough to do it in the first place. Now that Simone Biles has officially retired the Yurchenko double pike, everyone's buzzing with the same question. What's next? This isn't just any gymnast we're talking about. This is Simone Biles. She's never been the kind of athlete to settle for anything less than extraordinary. So it's hard not to get excited about what she's got up her sleeve. Will she create another signature move? Maybe something even more mind-bending. Or will she perfect the four other moves already named after her? You can just imagine Biles back in the gym, working through new routines, testing out skills that only someone like her would even dream of attempting. She's always been about pushing the limits, so it's hard to believe she's slowing down anytime soon. Sure, she's given the Yurchenko double pike its well-deserved rest, but that doesn't mean she's done pushing the envelope. The gymnastics world is waiting, almost holding its breath again, to see what challenge she's going to tackle next. And knowing Biles, it's going to be something that will once again redefine what's possible in gymnastics. One thing that stands out about Biles' recent decisions is how openly she's prioritized her mental health. After what happened in Tokyo with the twisties, it became crystal clear that gymnastics isn't just about physical ability, it's about mental strength too. When Biles experienced the twisties, she described it as losing control in the air, like her mind and body weren't in sync. For a gymnast at her level, that's terrifying. The consequences could have been disastrous, broken bones, permanent injuries, you name it. But what really hit home was how she chose to step back instead of pushing through it. We all know how much pressure athletes are under, especially someone like Biles, who's seen as invincible. 
She could have pushed through for the sake of her reputation, but instead she made the incredibly brave choice to listen to her body and her mind. That decision probably saved her from a major injury, but more than that, it showed the world that mental health matters just as much as physical health. And you can bet that's playing a role in her decision to retire the Yurchenko double pike. She's not just thinking about the next competition anymore, she's thinking about her long-term well-being. With the retirement of the Yurchenko double pike, we're witnessing the end of an era in gymnastics. But let's be real, even though Simone Biles has moved on from the skill, it's never going to be forgotten. It's one of those moves that will be etched into the sport's history, something people will talk about for decades. Gymnasts will look back and say, remember when Biles did that? So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.